In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a logo or other image to uh, to forms in Sage 50. So um, I'm going to use an invoice as an example, but it works the same no matter what kind of form you're using, whether it's purchase orders or checks or sales orders or quotes, all works the same way. So you're going to start by going up to the Reports and Forms menu, and then you'll choose Forms, and then whichever category you need. So we're doing invoices and packing slips. Then you'll start out by choosing which form you, you want as your starting point or which form you want to add your, your logo to and click the customize button. Then here once the form design window opens you're just going to click the add button over here and then choose logo or image and then you can navigate to whatever folder has the file in it and it can be a, a bitmap, a JPEG or a GIF and then just choose the image file that you want, click open, and it's going to insert it right at the top here. Now occasionally I have seen problems where you get a blank box there instead of actually seeing the image. If that happens, uh, then the easiest way to work around that is to insert that image into a Word document and then copy it and paste it uh, from the Word document. I don't know why that makes a difference, but uh, you know, that, will, that will solve that problem. Now, chances are you don't want your logo top center. If you do, that's fine. You're done. But let's say if we want it over here in the, uh, the top left corner, then we'll have to resize these to make room for it, or you, or you, could, uh, you could just drag them also. Um, or if your logo contained uh, your whole your company name and address, then you could just delete these fields all together. We'll leave them on there for now. Now I'm just going to drag that over to where I want it and we'll do a little resizing there by dragging that handle in the corner. Maybe bring these back a little bit closer. And that's it. You do want to make sure you start out with an image that's close to the size that you want to print it if it's too small and you have to stretch it out, then it's gonna uh, it's gonna look blurry and uh, grainy. And or if you're if you have a really big high resolution file, it will still look fine when you print it. But uh, when you add that much size to this uh, form file to this invoice, it's gonna make the form really slow to open and and slow to print when you're using it. So try to find something close to the the size that you actually want. Once you've got it on there and got a position where you want it, all you have to do is click save, give it a new name, and you're done. You're ready to go.